G'day! In this video I'm making clock bushes again but they're smaller than the previous ones and had a few issues along the way. I've tried to shoot it a little differently so that it's not quite the same as the previous one. Here's the part. You see it's only 2.7 in diameter. It's the same length but it's only 2.7 in diameter. Here's the simulation and I'm not going across the face with that first set of uh, stock removal cuts and then we're parting it off now we go to the second phase and in the simulation it's in the same place because all I've done is change the G50 which is the X and Z coordinates from home that's what the program looked like you can see I've highlighted there the uh, X tool offset for the turning tool because I had a few issues with the size changing started the program and I was getting 2.7 diameter and after a few more parts I ended up getting 2.65 which was a bit disappointing so I changed the X offsets and then the parts went too large I changed it the right amount but the parts went too large so I had to make a few adjustments up and down before I actually ended up with the speed Oh, sorry with the actual diameter coming right so I ended up with parts that I had to re-measure uh, if they go in the tray they're okay and if they go on, on the uh, rubber mat at the other side of the tray well they weren't right these things are so hard to use to, to manipulate and pick up you can see this one that's almost stuck between my fingernail and the pad of my finger right, not, and not very well at that you can see it nearly got away they're so tiny these things that looks easy to hold as in that photo but getting it to that point is so difficult to manipulate that's a good way to do it as long as they don't roll off the table which is not easy in our house nothing's very square and flat at our house here we're just going through another one and with this one it actually drops off I've slowed it right down to 1 8 speed there and I think you can actually see the thing drop there it fell off now that meant I was looking for it in that lot of swarf um, and I really didn't expect to find it but I did manage to there it was you can see it's quite quite small compared with the swarf so I set up again close to the part now in the previous bush I actually with that stock removal cycle actually trimmed the face off as well so I stopped doing it with this one and just did it with the actual uh, finish pass this insert has a 20 degree face on the uh, cutting edge and it gives you a very strong nib but it allows you to get down to almost no nib at the part that's the turned end finish is quite good just looks terrible under a microscope there's the turn profile this is the setup I use to make this video I was using a 18, uh, an 18 to 55 kit lens on the wide shot but the same lighting and everything there you are there's the parts the 3.5s from the previous video 2.7s from this video and thank you for watching